I don't think you've fought in the arena yet. You really abduct people and put them into cages? It's not as bad as it sounds, honest. Lots of the people we bring here don't get that we're just trying to save them. But they all see the truth eventually. Trust me, it's kept us going for over a hundred years. We survived the impact. We survived decades of isolation and wars. We'll survive whatever these strange towers mean. You'll see. The path of the Morcons is the only true path. Let's move on. Sure thing. That's true, but my will is unbroken. I want to get out of here. Finally, we get to the heart of the grotto. The residential district is a holy place for many of us. A place of tranquility, contemplation, and drinking. <laughs> we don't relax often, but when we do, it's in the cellar with Ghosta. Besides the residential district, there's also the quartermaster's district and trader's district. Who knows how Khan will react to you? Take this opportunity to buy a few things. You might not get another chance. I suggest you talk to Tengus. He might allow you to trade here. Then your journey won't have been for nothing. You really all live down here? Eh, you get used to it, and it's safe. But watch out for the tunnels at the back. They're old and in danger of collapsing. I wouldn't have thought you'd have a bar here. You mean the cellar? Yeah, as long as the goddamn resistors don't try to get it closed down. It's a good place, and its owner, Ghosta, is a useful man to know. So where's your quartermasters? Are you blind? Just over there. Come with me. Talk to Tengus. He decides who can and can't trade here. I got things to do. Each man gets one ration a day. I can't right now. But Master Tengus, that's just not enough. Perhaps you'd rather eat nothing at all. Forgive me, Master. I never question me again. Yes, praise be to Ravak. And blessed be the balance. Yeah, yeah. Go on, get out of here. May Oblivion find you, stranger. I see you've traveled a great distance to be here. What do you want? My approval? All I want is to be able to trade. And why should I let you do that? <laughs> An outsider, a non-believer. You won't get anything here without my say-so. Not a job, not a crumb of bread. No exceptions? You're an uninvited guest in our home. You'll have to give me a reason to help you. Maybe there's something I can do for you. You do something for me? <laughs> I am the master of steel. Whatever I want, I have made. And anything I lose, I can have found. Guess I'd better be going then. Wait. Are you a man of war? Of course. I thought so. Now listen. Until you've been given permission to stay, 
You will not be allowed to trade, and you will not waste any more of my time. We'll see if circumstances change. Now leave. How did things go with Tengus? Did you get your trading permit? Nope, not yet. Hmm, thought not. If everything goes well with Khan, you'll have enough time later to convince him. Let's keep moving. Don't worry. I'll convince Khan to let you stay. Let's go and see him then. Stay close to me. One more thing you need to know. You don't speak unless Khan speaks to you. Understand? You got it. What are you doing here, Dimitri? You'd better have a good reason for leaving your post. I need to talk to Khan. But the Great Khan doesn't want to talk to you. This stranger is asking for refuge. Hmm. Interesting. Morat and I both think he'd make a good Morcon. We've lost a lot of people recently. We need good new replacements. And he came here voluntarily, you say? Yes. That's unusual. Khan will consider your request. The stranger can stay here until Khan has made his decision. He should return tomorrow and await Khan's judgment. You get all that? Yeah. Why didn't he tell me that himself? It's the rules. As a Morcon, I'm superior to you. And also responsible for you. It's a privilege to speak with the voice of Khan. And an even bigger one when Khan addresses you personally. So, you heard him. Any more questions? Why doesn't Khan speak himself? Khan is a resistor, and he takes his devotion to oblivion. To the void. I guess you'd say nothingness? Very seriously. He holds his tongue as a sign of his absolute devotion to the silence of Ravak. Sounds a little over the top. You think that's over the top? There have been followers of Ravak who have taken their own lives to be one with the Void. To die is to rejoin the purity of the Oblivion. Does that mean you all want to die? Of course not. Just realize that no one is expected to devote themselves to Ravak as much as Khan does. All that is expected of an ordinary Morkhan is that they honor the balance. Speaking little or seeking the peace of death is honorable, but we're still people with free will. But if you want people here to respect you, you have to prove you also champion the will of Ravak. Oh, and don't forget to check in with Khan once in a while. If you really can't wait, you can pass the time in the cellar. Or just sleep. <laughs> I'm busy already. Good, good. Then I can leave you alone with a clear conscience. Marat's probably complaining already. I better get back. You'll find me at the gate if you need me. See ya. Are you okay? I'm well, thank you. A war against the invaders seems inevitable. We can't afford to fall behind in our preparations.
Commander, additional location of Skyam control node chips detected. Great. That's just what I wanted to hear. Where are they this time? Ignadon. I still don't get it. Why would such an advanced race be so interested in old world tech? Additional scan recommended. You always gotta make it sound easy, huh? Recommendation for scan based on inadequacy of current information. Collection of further information likely to increase probability of accurate answer to query. That's what I'm saying. Fine. Let's go look into these chips. Departure in three, two, one. Multiple units located directly ahead. Let's act fast before they run away again. Directly behind you, Commander. The infection. I'd already forgotten about it again. Oh, I don't get a hand. Thing is going to happen to me. Over the years, my efforts to unite humanity have been strained. I've had no lasting affiliation with any of them. Who knows how it'll go this time? Speculation. Negotiation as alternative to offensive action possibly worth investigation. Huh. Now even the machines are questioning morality. If those assholes wanted to negotiate, why do you think they attack as soon as they see us? Logic acknowledged.
Report. Pattern confirmed. Control node chips deployed at this location. Machine computing components also utilized. Maybe you're right. They do need more computing power for research. Or the resources for it anyway. Possibility acknowledged. Recent analysis, however, suggests alien systems based on more complex components. There is another possibility. The Skyans are collecting electronic scrap to stop us reactivating for use against them. Analyzing. Possibility acknowledged. Strategic location of alien activity supports speculation. Fine. But what can we do to improve the situation? Analysis incomplete. Skyan technology based on neural network components. Evaluated as highly effective. Computing with live tissue? Partially. Inorganic modules also present. Likelihood of initial hypothesis proving true downgraded. Now calculated as unlikely. Ah, oh, interesting. Keep me posted on what you find, okay? Acknowledged. Commander to be notified on detection of new location. <laughs> Environmental analysis. This is just an old ruin. Don't always need to worry so much, little guy. Analysis. Highly angular structures detected. Analysis has 78% chance of error. Recommendation. Upgrade risk level. Ready weapons for ambush. What did I just say? <laughs> system analysis analyzing main protocol optimized we're done for now stand by at the bastion 